Hi everybody, now I wanted to do a quick video about my DAISY tutorial videos. So if you're new to the channel, one of the things that I'm known for is making lots and lots of videos about DAISY. Unfortunately, they can be quite difficult to find in any particular order if you're just starting off. So what I've done is I've taken some extra steps to get them organized. Yes. So. You'll probably know that you can go to, for example, my Daisy Modding Beginner's Guide playlist and you can go through and look at some of them in order. But kind of inspired by Balshad's Discord, what I've done is in my Discord, I have now started the work of organizing all of my videos into kind of a kind of a logical order that you can use to go through in order to start learning or to use as a reference to come back to. So in the description below this video, you'll find a link to my Discord. Now, one thing I will say about my Discord is that this isn't really a place where you can come and ask loads and loads of questions. For example, if you want to ask me questions, it's very difficult for me to answer them because I'm very, very busy. However, I do look at lots of the questions and if it's something that I think, oh, that's useful, I may well make a video about it in the future. But if you go over to my Discord now, what you'll find is if you scroll down a bit, you'll have things like essential modding tools with links to um, things like Notepad++, uh, different validators. And more importantly for new people, you'll have like Mod Daisy Basic. So in these uh, channels, these have got links to all the videos that I've done about these particular subjects. Now, in order to use these videos, you may well have some extra files that you need to access, like um, my JSON uh, uh, my X, XML repositories on GitHub and things like that. So what I recommend you do is when you start playing them, what you want to do is probably click really through to YouTube to... to watch the video on YouTube because in the description below the video on YouTube, that's where the extra links will do go. I haven't got the time to add all the links to the individual categories. Um, I've kind of put like the Mod Daisy basic ones in, in an order that you might want to go through if you're you know, really starting off at. And also watch out for anything that says old against it or maybe has an, a comment underneath that says updating because not only am I using the, this um, process to organize my videos so that other people can find them useful, but also I'm using it so that I can go through my videos and find the ones that need updating and then I'll be able to <laughs> update them and keep an eye on them. So it's also, you know, for me as well. So we've got Mod Daisy Basics for people who are brand new to modding Daisy uh, servers, whether that be PC or console, you can go through that. And then we have things like um, different player spawns. Um, we have the server mission files, so if you want my boosted loot ones for Chernus and Livonia and the hardcore files, they're there. A link to the official vanilla GitHub there and how to update your server. We have Mod Daisy Medium, so this tends to be XML and JSON mods that everybody can do on PC and console. And then uh, we've got Mod Daisy Expert, which is re revolves around you, you generally have to have a PC to do this sort of stuff. Um, in terms of uh, it's about PC mods Daisy and doing local servers um, and things like that. We've also got um, some zombies files there or infected files. Um, I've done. I've got videos about the PC, the editor mod, the expansion mod, VP admin tools, uh, custom structures are going to be going in there. And if you're new to Daisy, completely, I've, I'm putting all my player Daisy guys in here as well, which I've done an awful lot of now. I've done over a thousand videos about Daisy, whether that be about modding Daisy or playing Daisy. So this is an ongoing process. <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me. Now, if you do find any videos that do have uh, things that are incorrect or out of date, or maybe they were just wrong when I recorded them, please let me know. You can DM me on Discord, and then I'll put a note against the video, or I'll delist it if it's something that's really bad. I do tend to leave my older videos up on YouTube about older versions of Daisy where the information might not be um, accurate anymore purely because at some point in time someone might want to go back and roll back and, and run one of those old versions of Daisy but generally what I'll do in the description in the title I'll put old or out of date and I'll put a link to something um, to, to the newer video if I've done them so <laughs> if you're new to Daisy modding um, or you want a reference place for my videos, this this might be the place to come now. Um, so because you can just come in and you can just click through, and you may well find things that you didn't know that you could do. 
Um, um, now, I will also recommend, um, and when you come to my uh, GitHub, you'll find these places in the partnerships, Balshad's Discord. Now, in Balshad's Discord, it's absolutely fantastic, and he, he this is the inspiration for me. In Balshad's Discord, he has got um, a much more in-depth sort of set of references, but his is based around text. So when you go into his, when he has this how to spawn spooky mist, it, it's a written text explanation on how to do it, with some, which some people will find easier because they can follow it. And I know when I want to do something and I can't quite remember the, the code, often I will go over to Balshad's Discord and check his out. Um, again, with Balshad's Discord, it's good to have a little bit of information and knowledge before you go in and do your research. Um, now... You may well find that still the best way to find lots of my videos about certain subjects is just to do a YouTube search. So if you're trying to find something, how to do something on Daisy, do a YouTube search on it or a Google search and one of my videos may well pop up. But the idea of having the videos in this kind of format is that, as I say, there could be stuff here that you didn't know you could do in Daisy and you can go through and do that as well. Um, so there we go. This is an ongoing process. I've got over a thousand videos I need to get through. I've put lots of the most useful ones over uh, on there as well um there's also on the discord how to join the private servers if you want a pve experience and you know if you want to help um uh, how, you know, you know the, the resources behind how i do this again you can go to rob links now to help and it's got links to like my paypal um, and my Patreon, and becoming a YouTube member as well, if you would like to uh, help financially um, in this endeavor as well. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you do, let me know in the description below this video. And remember, I'm always open to ideas for videos. In fact, I think, yeah, in Daisy Chat and Help, there is a video request section. So if you want um, a particular video, just just write it in there, and I'll add it to my list of things to do. Or maybe I'll send you a link of a video I've already done. So there we go. Hit the, hit the Discord. The link's in the description below the video. Again, this isn't a place to come and have loads of chats about Daisy, like playing Daisy or anything like that. Um, it's quite a quiet Discord. Other people will, will help. Um, and as I say, it's not a personal place where you can ask me questions, I'll guarantee an answer. Sometimes I do, depending on the, the, the questions, but I'm very busy with you know work and life anyway, despite, you know, and the YouTube stuff. But you can come over and you can use this as a reference. Right, okay, so hopefully this has been useful, and it is useful. Um, if you enjoyed this, hit like, if you want to see more, the same, press subscribe, and of course, I will see you um, again soon.